Coders of Reddit, how do you politely refuse your friend's million dollars app idea? I never want to discourage genuine enthusiasm for an idea so instead of saying inquat, too hard, too expensive, already been done, etc. Inquat, I treat this as an opportunity to teach my friend, co-worker, board member or relative, all true examples, to take a stack of index cards and draw a picture of the app starting with the opening screen. Then use a red pen to draw the UI action that would lead to the next index card where they draw that screen. I tell them to draw as many screens as needed to illustrate how it works. If they can get past this step, they have a much better idea of the flow and complexity of the app from the viewpoint of the user. This process teaches them an enormous amount about software dev. I tell them that they would have to have this car design rock solid before talking to a an app dev and if they did it, and brought it to a developer, the developer would cry at having such an organized client. I know nothing about programming, but this is my go-to as a lawyer who gets a lot of random legal questions. I specialize in X. So you should contact an attorney in Y specialty since any information I give is from what I remember in law school and likely irrelevant to your situation. I assume programmers could use a similar excuse. It's not easy to just inquat, do inquat, something you've never done before. People who lost their job due to this crisis what is your story? I'm a housekeeper at a hotel. Last week they cut our hours from 40 to 32. I was just informed that tomorrow they are shutting down the hotel. Front desk, sales team, and bartenders are being laid off for the time being. Housekeeping will now work 24 hours a week for two weeks to deep clean the hotel, but who knows after that. My husband got laid off on Tuesday. He works about three minutes down the road from my work. He showed up at my work with tears in his eyes, apologizing to me for not doing good enough to be kept. He works at a car dealership as an auto technician, where they let go of four techs that day cause of decreasing business. They're letting go of more people this Saturday. My brother is a mechanic there, and is scared to lose his job too. They told my husband that when business picks back up, the unquat, might unquat, call and ask him to come work for them again. Thankfully, I work in the lab of a hospital, so my job is pretty secure. I keep telling my husband that we'll get through it but I know it's taking a toll on him. My mom works in vacation rentals doing housekeeping, she's 61, diabetic and has COPD, and lives in a state that is mandatory shutdown of all non-essential businesses. When she was informed they'd be laying people off, but also staying open, she told them she's afraid of getting coronavirus and they laid her off so she could collect unemployment and continue to pay her bills while staying home safe. What drug did you take once and thought nope, never again? I was a senior in high school when Hurricane Katrina hit. Our house got six feet of water, no fun. But, one night my friends and I went to the gutted out house to smoke some marijuana out of a buddy's hookah. Buddy failed to inform us he had recently glued the bowl back together. Well, the crew lost composure. Two people fell off the dock into the bayou and everyone started panicking that they'd get hypothermia, not gonna happen during Louisiana summer. So people leave, I drive a group to our next spot. My Pontiac Sunfire is now a spaceship. My buddy riding shotgun started cackling hysterically yelling about rattlesnakes in the road, we don't got those, and the two in the back were talking about magic or some shit. We couldn't make it to our destination due to freaking out, so went to hang out in a grocery store parking lot till we regained composure. 10 tenths would not smoke glue again. Crack, it was too good. I get the hype. Salvia. It's a very short trip but I felt so much physical discomfort like my whole body was being shoved into a box despite the fact that I was sitting in the grass with a group of friends. Apparently it's not an uncommon side effect of the drug. Topiramate, Topamax, a drug used to treat migraines and seizure disorders. I started developing a couple of the less common side effects, including facial numbness slash tingling, visual disturbances, and most concerning to me, aphasia. The scariest thing about the aphasia is that it can be permanent. Sorry, but I'll deal with the headaches, which weren't even migraines, just a stress phase I was going through, and keep my words, thanks. What is something that has aged well? Roger Federer. Still a top 10 player at 38.
90s Japanese cars. Band of Brothers. One of the few slang terms that survived for decades. If you got to pick one video game that you would live in for the rest of your life, what game would you pick and why? Farming Simulator 2015. It's basically how I live anyway. KSP. Kerbal Space Program. With a budget like that, exploring the solar system is going to be a piece of cake. Losing a few astronauts also isn't that much of a problem anymore. A dating sim. Elite Dangerous. I can fly a spaceship all day every day and make billions of credit doing it? Count me in. Your best friend is faking being asleep and you need them up. What do you say out loud to trick them into and quad, waking up and quad? He's finally asleep. You can come out now. Whisper just loud enough. Oh shit. They're here. And quad. Look, there's a huge spider on his collar dot 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 and quad. Not saying anything. Hope he's ready for a very aggressive cuddling, though. What innocent item gets suspicious if you own too much of it? Once I saw a couple who were clearly on meth buying a shit ton of baby formula at the grocery store. At the time I was like shit, that's sad, they have a kid and they can't breastfeed it because they're on drugs. Maybe a week later I saw a post on Facebook about how many drugs are cut with baby formula, which is why it's a high risk item for large scale retail theft. So, baby formula. Do you think landlords should be open to being lenient in on rent in a crisis like this, pending proof of lack of employment? Why slash why not? My landlord in Seattle offered to defer rent if need be. I like her. My country did the same but also froze all property taxes and mortgage for three months to pass coronavirus. This is what is going to have to happen. The government is going to have to bail everyone. Otherwise the landlords will be hurting as many still owe a mortgage to the banks. Edit to say I am not a landlord. What happened at a wedding that made it obvious that the bride and groom shouldn't be getting married? Are they still together? My sister-in-law got married last fall and after the ceremony they got in an epic fight over the marriage certificate and didn't come to the reception until two hours after it started. A week later, they separated for a few weeks while trashing each other on Facebook. They're still together and she's now pregnant. Edit, I also photographed this wedding and it was the most stressful professional experience I've ever had. I forgot to mention too that the groom and groomsmen dropped a bunch of acid before the ceremony and continued into the reception. He freaked out, had a panic attack, and left. When the priest equivalent said and quad, you may kiss the bride and quad, she turned so that it would be a kiss on the cheek. Even as a child that set off alarm bells. They have been divorced for a long time. The groom drunkenly cornered my roommate and demanded a blowjob as a wedding gift. Apparently he was under the mistaken impression that all gay men are excited to give pretty much anyone a blowjob at any time. My roommate declined the invitation. What do you want right now?